Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you have a continental grip? Do you want more spin? Will strings do it? Stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at GoSport.com. Good morning to everybody out there. Coffee sponsor of today is Reinert Wimrother. Reinert writes, greetings from Austria. I'm watching a lot of your videos time and time again. Could you please make a video about a racket series? E-Zone 98L, 98, 100, and Tor. And recommend string tensions with same string or hybrids for the racket. What does one have to consider when using the same string for a different racket of one series? Thanks in advance, Reiner. That's actually a great idea. Um, I may, that's actually not really hard to do either. So Reiner, yeah, look for it um, in the future. I'm about 20 to 30 days out in videos right now. So we'll get to it um, really soon, okay? So maybe in the summer, look for that video. If you want to be my Coffee sponsor of the day network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to hook up the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. House blend today. Not a big fan. All right. Um, so, <clears throat> question of the day is it was from a couple people actually their old school continental grip users they would like help from the strings to get more spin well what can i give them will a hybrid help what kind of hybrid will help so what was i thinking well I'm only going to go to the person that I know that uses a continental grip, who is Coach Rob. I'm going to go string his racket with what I think will help him generate more spin. I actually gave him a call during the week and I said, Coach Rob, I know you only use NXT. Have you ever considered using other strings that may give you more spin? And he's like, what other strings? Are there other strings than NXT? I said, Coach Rob, come on, get out of the Wilson. Get out of the Wilson headroom. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to string a racket up for you, which will hopefully give you noticeable amount of spin. And we're going to play, and you're going to tell me if there's more spin involved. Okay? He's like, okay, Harry. Actually, I'm going to go string it first and go out and see Coach Rob. So let's go to the Falcon. All right, guys, so I just finished a Pro Staff 97, just like what Coach Rob would use, um, with the mains. I chose Confidential 18 on the mains. I chose 48 pounds, just so that off the bat, he can maybe sling it a little bit more with more spin from this main. Obviously, I got to put something Wilson in it for him just because he's a Wilson guy. So I'm just going to go NXT on the cross again at 48. 
So I'm going to finish stringing this racket up. I'm going to clean up that overgrip too. And we're going to go see Coach Rob. See you on the court. All right, so out here with Coach Rob. Um, when I told Coach Rob that we're going to meet out here, like literally right now, he's like, I actually got to get my racket strung. And I'm like, you broke your string? Doesn't happen often. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, he wanted to represent, so he put the red W on it. What kind of string is that? Uh, I put in the Wilson NXT Comfort 16. Okay, well, what else would you ask Coach Rob to put on besides that? Do uh, you want to know the tension? <laughs> sure. I went at 48 pounds. For, oh, okay. I didn't tell Coach Rob what to string it at. No. He decided just to go on his own to do 48 pounds. So this is actually the spin racket, which enhances the spin already. So it's the Pro Staff in the S version, Pro Staff 97S, 18 mains by 16 crosses. Coach, oh. Coach Rob was saying, how does 18 mains go and give me more spin? I was like, it's because of the 16 crosses. There's not a lot of this holding this along, therefore it's allowing the mains to move a little bit more. So you should be already getting a good amount of spin from the racket itself. Um, I can't say that the string is helping you much, but um, the racket with the string pattern definitely is. So I was going comfort. You're going comfort. Yeah, when you hit as many balls, go, I, I'd rather yeah. be more comfort, comfortable, com comfortable than uh, jarring on my arm. I got you. Okay, so I took it upon myself to string up a pro staff for you. Um, just like, this is a 97 though, unfortunately I, I don't have an S version. An old version. <laughs> I actually did what I thought would enhance spin for you, which is an 18 gauge poly, which okay. we'll call confidential. Okay. And, uh. It's confidential. Right. Right. And, uh, NXT 16. Comfort, power. Maybe Wilson. Maybe Wilson. <laughs> Okay. It might be Wilson. Okay. They usually make NXT. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. We're going to, since you've got a freshly strung racket, I got a freshly strung racket with what I think will help you with spin. Okay. Let's see. Let's hit. Okay. Let's go hit. Jingle balls, anybody? Since Coach Rob decided to put a stencil on it, we got red balls now. <laughs> so, comfort on that, NXT 48. My confidential 18, still confidential. NXT 16, maybe. Comfort on the cross. 48, if I didn't say so already. <clears throat> Coach Rob, since you had a fresh one and I had a fresh one, right. what did you feel with yours and then what did you feel with this one? I felt um, a lot of sponge in it, a lot of comfort. Um, it didn't have uh, the um, the same feel with the poly, you know, obviously on the mains, and it's not supposed to. Um, but it felt like a pretty big sweet spot. Um, and then, you know, hitting with, it, with that one, um, still felt good. Uh, I felt like I might've got a little bit more spin on it just with the poly being able to, uh, you know, come up on the ball a little bit. Um, yeah, I both saw, felt great. I saw you, you actually did well with this, with the spin. I was, I was watching the, the, the RPMs coming over and 
the only thing I really noticed was <clears throat> this jumped just a little bit more, just a little bit. What did it feel like when the ball came off the poly though? I think just with this racket maybe being a little heavier, I had a little more mass behind it, so the ball may have come off that way. Mm. Um, the poly, I felt, gave me a little bit more rip to it. Um, and maybe there was a little bit more net clearance and a little more jump coming at you than when I was hitting with this one. Mm -hmm. I think since I use this all the time, I'm probably just <laughs> used to hitting it a little flatter. And then I got like a new toy in my hand. I'm like, woohoo! Right. <laughs> Spin it. So you felt the difference? Yes. Okay. Um, yep. Percentage difference? Yeah, for sure. Um, 10, 20? I'd probably say 20. 20% 20 difference. Okay. So you would recommend somebody with a, you know, continental grip like yourself to try like poly, some thin poly mains? A maybe? thin poly main, for sure. Give it a shot. Maybe something with some shape to it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, an Ocho. Like an eight-sided? Uh, an eight-sided, six yeah. Sided. Something, okay. something of that factor in the main. And then still try to keep your soft cross. Um, okay. Yeah, as long as you don't break it. Like this is already kind of fraying as I was stringing it. Right. Because of the edges. Because of the edges, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're going to go through string for sure. All right. So let me tell you what I felt. I felt yours was definitely a sponge. Like I hadn't played with a synthetic in a while. And I was like. Multi-filament. <laughs> what did I say? Synthetic? <laughs> Nylon dog, dog based? Dog my string. <laughs> Nylon. Uh, I could definitely feel like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And then, but the thing is, I didn't feel vibration. That was the thing. It, it was great on, like, as soon as it left, it kind of didn't go so much. Right. And then, but I was losing a little something, though, I noticed. Like, when I tried to, to whip it. Whereas with this, it kind of felt a little bit more like home. The stiffness of it kind of reared back and fired. Um, I, maybe I'm just used to the firmness. Right, to the, the firmness of it. Yeah. Where I'm looking for more comfort hitting balls all day. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely the, the firmness of a poly, no matter what kind of grip you have, will definitely help with your spin. So if you're looking for a little more spin, maybe try a hybrid first. Go with a super thin main or super thin poly main, whatever you guys want to brand you want to choose i think they're all going to be really really good um i just want to keep mine confidential so you know and then you can use the nxt if you really want to <laughs> all right so coach rob thank you uh, sure. for uh you know amusing me with this uh experiment pro uh, staff experiment yes continental experiment Maybe we should have had you hit Continental with it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Because <laughs> if I'm looking up at the air and I'm holding Continental, guess what's going to happen? It's going to go up like this. Well, maybe that'll keep your head down. <laughs> but as soon as I get tired, it's going to it's going to do that. I've done that before in the past. No, we've done uh, that. I think we have. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.